Missouri's cottage food laws. We're actually going to dive into what you can do from home if you're looking to create a home-based food business in the state of Missouri. It's actually really unique because they have two different laws, but for some reason, you can actually tap into both of them. We're going to dive into what you can do, how much you can make, labeling, and everything else in between for Missouri's cottage food laws right here on Cottage Food Laws YouTube channel. All right, so welcome back to Cottage Foods Laws. This is a brand new YouTube channel. We just launched all about home-based food businesses. My name is Damien Roberti. My wife and I, Sylvia, are food entrepreneurs, and we actually have several uh, food entrepreneur channels here on YouTube. Uh, Marketing Food Online, which is our big, big channel. We've got about 125,000 so subscribers. We've got over 1,000 videos, including a lot of home-based food videos. If you want to check that out, check those links down below in the description below the video. Now, let's dive right into it. Missouri's cottage food laws is really kind of unique, but it's actually pretty good. As a matter of fact, there's two distinct legislations in Missouri's permit that sale home homemade foods from your home. Now, jointly establishing a robust cottage food law, utilizing both of these, you can actually do. I'm going to go over a little bit of what this law is, and then we're going to dive into the types of foods you can make and everything else that's required. So producers actually have the option of operating under both these laws if they choose to do so. Now, an additional cottage food law in Missouri grants producers the liberty to vend most of their types of non-perishable food items at events, roadside stands, and with minimal restrictions. Now, in 2014, though, Missouri enacted a law called SB 525 to extend these allowances and enabling producers to conduct sales from their homes. The law saw further improvements. Actually, in 2022, they kind of updated that to incorporate online sales and shipping within the state itself, which is actually pretty cool. A lot of states do not allow that. So Missouri's cottage food laws also is quite detailed now and consequently, of course, can seem restrictive at some points, but allows producers to sell only non-perishable baked goods, jams, jellies, herbs, and other products under this law. Now, I'm going to go over the list, by the way, and give you exactly what you can and can't sell. Moreover, the law actually stipulates that producers can only vend their products from home, encompassing online sales and orders that are delivered or shipped within the state allows you to increase your sales as well. So let's dive into this specifically. Now, we're going to start off with selling. So where can you specifically sell? All right, so you can sell from home. Um, you can actually have people come and pick up your products. If you are comfortable with that, you can do that, or you could bring it to them, uh, also known as like a delivery service. If you were up to doing that, you can have customers order items from you, and then you can deliver it. Now, you can also sell them online, but it needs to be delivered in person or picked up by the person itself. Um, you cannot actually sell over state lines. That's known as interstate sales. And so far under Missouri's cottage food laws, you can't do that just yet. Um, next one is actually, as we mentioned before, mail order. Uh, but again, it has to be delivered directly to the customer. Now, prohibited methods of selling. And I know this seems a little restrictive and kind of odd, but events, retail stores, roadside stands, and restaurants. Catering is something you can't do just yet from home in Missouri. Also, uh, wholesale. So if you make your product and you're looking to sell it in bulk and wholesale, that's prohibited. You'd have to get into like a commercialized kitchen or commercial setting with different types of licenses, insurance, and such. Now, really quick, as we mentioned insurance, now this is not a requirement, but creating an LLC for your cottage food business in Missouri makes sense. This is not something that's required, but as a food entrepreneur myself for over 13 years, I can guarantee you that there may be the potential for you to be sued. Somebody gets sick or somebody gets ill. Um, having an LLC allows you to separate the liability from your personal liability to your business liability. Also, a basic food entrepreneur uh, business insurance policy is something I would highly recommend as well. That will also cover you uh, any type of insurance needs that you might need as well. All right, so let's get back into what kind of foods you can make. So bagels, cake pops, uh, sweet breads, wedding cakes. Now, that's actually a fantastic one. Now, keep in mind, as I go through the list of items that you can sell, keep in mind, you can come up with tons of different variations. You can come up with different flavor profiles, different ways of making them. You can offer them in different packaging. So don't think that it's just restricted. If I tell you brownies and cookies, muffins and scones, you're thinking, well, that's kind of boring. What can I do? Well, cookies, I mean, there's endless of different, different ways of making cookies. Hundreds of variations of brownies. You can do them with all kinds of nuts and caramels and chocolate toppings and chocolate chips. It goes on and on and on. Now, if you're looking for some recipes for these, definitely check online. You can actually go online, pull up some recipes, and create your own version of that, and you can sell it. Breads, cakes, macaroons, uh, rolls, cupcakes, as I mentioned before. Now, herbs, you can do herbs as well. This is actually really interesting. Uh, Danish pastries, other pastries, including things that may or may not have. Uh, you got to make sure you don't have, unfortunately, any type of meat or cheeses in these pastries. As if it is a time or temperature sensitive item, you can't necessarily sell those items through cottage food. 
Next up are pies. You can do as well. Uh, pretzels, granola, marmalades, jams and jellies, crackers. Um, and that's just a handful of what you can make as far as the products that are allowed. Keep in mind that many of the times cottage food laws cannot make or sell anything that is time or temperature. What that means is, is if you produce a product, let's say it was a pizza, okay? And you've got cheese on it. Maybe you've got meat on it. Maybe you've got uh, pepperoni. You've got those types of things. That would be considered non non-ability to sell from home. That's a perishable item. That has to be eaten immediately at a restaurant or cafe, right? Or it might have to be refrigerated. So if it's time or temperature sensitive, as a pizza would be, a taco, a hamburger, those are items that you'd have to be in some type of a restaurant or commercial setting in order to sell. Now, some of the prohibited items. Now, the list is quite long for this particular type, but fermented foods, you've got cereals, uh, carbonated drinks, popcorns, marshmallows, cones, Pasta noodles, dried fruits, apple sauces of some type, nut butters and salsas, ketchups, uh, different types of cotton candies, low acid canned foods, candies, chocolates, fudge, brittles, etc. Those would be items that you can't sell. Even meat jerky, unfortunately. Um, also chocolate covered items. Those would be items that are a uh, no-no. Now, the other thing that's kind of limiting, though, in regards to what you can have in the home is commercial equipment. Most every cottage state in the U.S. actually does not allow you to use any type of commercial equipment. That would be like a commercial oven gigantic mixers that mix, you know, 40, 50 pound bags of flour. Uh, commercial kitchen is obviously you can't build out a commercial kitchen in your own kitchen as well. Um, direct sales only. Interstate sales are prohibited. As we mentioned before, you can't ship over state lines. And you also are limited to your primary residence. Keep in mind that your business needs to operate from your kitchen, not your friends, not your grandmother's, not a guy down the street or somewhere else. If you are operating in your home kitchen, that is the place where you have to be. Now, the other good thing, though, that's good about Missouri's cottage food business law is actually that there is no sales limit. So if you notice on the thumbnail, I said 750000 If you can sell a million dollars from your kitchen, there are no sales limits. But do keep in mind, you are operating a business. So everything that's an expense, you need to keep in mind your sales minus your expenses are going to create a profit. That has to be claimed on taxes and you do need to keep track of your income because it is considered income. So you definitely want to touch base with an accountant about that as well. All right, so what exactly goes on the label, Damien? So business address. So the name of the home itself, or actually the name, the address of your home where you're making it needs to go on your label. That goes on every food product you make. Your business name, if it happens to be, let's say, Damien's cake, cake, caking business, you need to make sure that the name of the business is on there. And a statement stating that it is made in an area of a kitchen at home that is not inspected by a uh, state office of any kind. So you know that the customer is aware that they're producing the product from your home. Okay. So all in all, that's the gist of Missouri's cottage food laws. It's quite a big list of items that you can make and also quite a big list of items that you can't make. But you do want to definitely keep in mind that there is no sales limit and you do not need to get a permit from the health department or take any training courses, unlike other states. So if you are looking to create a business from Missouri, let us know down below if you started your cottage food business from home and check out our other videos here on cottage foods laws. I'll see you in our next video.